Okay, welcome back. So uh, we just are gonna do the transition here between these two parts. So last time I said um, all we may need to do is uh, drag these two bars here uh, over to here and it might just transition automatically. Um, so let's test that theory out. First of all, let's take a look at the notes. What do we got? This is an E into a G. Whereas before we have an F into a G. So it might be rough, but let's see. Okay, uh, for the most part, that does work. Um, but now what I feel like is that this should be an E into a G as well. So um, that's just one semitone. So let's drag these down one. And bring these down one. Okay, so let's do some filtering here. Might not work so well. Let's undo that. Or it could work if we add in, you know, some sort of drum fill there. Um, but since these are filtering up it might actually work for us to um, high pass this. So I'm actually going to drag the sub down into its own channel here. Okay. Drag another auto filter down in here so we can high pass this up as the other part is low passing up. And so that doesn't stop abruptly. Let's automate a filter delay to come in. Right there.
okay. I hope we listen without the filter delay. It's subtle, but it helps. And, uh, oops. You may not actually need to filter up that high. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Let's give ourselves more context. Maybe filter a little bit more. Means we can start this lower. just so that it doesn't stick out too much, I might want to actually bring down the top end just a little bit here. All right, that sounded pretty good. Now when we introduce these back in here, uh, we may want to make these chords a little more complex, maybe a little bigger. So let's see if we can add something down here. Whoops, I'm gonna work in this instrument first. And I might try putting an octave on these notes. No, I think that sticks out a little too much. You might add another instrument and turn it down to do those higher notes.
All right, not too bad. Now we might want to flesh out this actual progression a little bit more and make it less repetitive. And we also might want to um, think about putting a melody over top of it. So I think the melody is going to have a lot more to do with how repetitive this sounds. So we may want to tackle that first. Either way, I uh, will do that on the next episode, and I will see you then.